Hey, what's up guys? This is Coach Craig from Menahuni Beach Volleyball. And in this video, I just want to talk about the traits that you need to have to be a great defender. Okay? The first one is you need really good eye-hand coordination and ball control skills. Okay? Because as a great defender, I mean, you probably already know this, but as you get better and better and you play better and better teams, they don't really hit it at your platform. You're not going to be always digging the ball with your platform. You're going to be digging the ball one-handed almost all the time against good teams okay so you got to be able to dig the ball up here up here up here you can do this you can do this I there's a lot of ways to dig above your head um, so you know experiment see what works best for you that gives you the most control you also got to be able to dig one-handed you know to the sides and lower um, and you got to definitely be able to learn how to dig dive and dig the ball one-handed up in a controlled manner okay and if you're not good at these things, you need to go out there and practice these things a lot. Okay, these are these. This is a skill that you can improve on dramatically. Okay, just through reps. Go out there with a friend, have them throw it or hit it at you, all different zones around your body, and make you practice digging it with one hand until you get control over the ball. Right, and you know left hand, right hand. Most people are good with their strong hand. If you're right-handed, that's your right hand. If you're left-handed, your left hand. But you know, practice your offhand. You, if you practice, you should probably definitely do more reps on your offhand just to help help it catch up. Okay. Um, and like I said, it's it's a skill that can be improved upon. So uh, you know, get out there and practice it, and you'll become better. Okay. Second thing is court speed. Now this is one that I have to say tends to be more genetic. Some people are born faster than others, right? Some people are really quick, and others are not. It's a difference between a fast twitch athlete and a slow twitch athlete okay but even if you're a slow twitch athlete you can still improve your court speed and any anything you can do to improve your court speed will improve your defense because you have to you basically as a defender you have to beat the ball to the ground on your side of the court right so speed is important right um, and so if you can't, you know, my recommendation is to find a speed coach if you, if you can afford a speed coach. If you can't, go on YouTube and look for drills that help improve your speed and your initial burst of, of um, you know, of energy in a specific direction, right? So plyometric exercises tend to really help with quick quickness and uh, fast twitch motions. So uh, that would be my recommendation. And the third thing is you need situational awareness and you need to understand your opponent's tendencies as quickly as possible, okay? The best defenders are the ones that are able to see the court and see the situation. Where's the set? Is it off? Is it inside? Is it outside? Where's the hitter? Is it inside or the outside? And shrink the court that they need to defend, right? Because if I see a specific situation, my thought is, okay, that's not a good shot for them. Most likely they're gonna hit it this way. So I'm gonna take a step this way and be ready. Okay, I just shrank the court, right? Let's say the, the set is off and I know that person, that, that's the attacker, doesn't hit a jumbo when they're off the net. They don't know how to hit deep shots, right, over my head. So guess what? I step forward. What does that do? It shrinks the court, right? So this is what you got to do. And the other thing is you got to understand your opponent's tendencies, right? Some players can hit all the shots. Those are the ones that are the hardest to defend because they can hit all the shots. So you can't shrink the court because they can hit all the shots to all corners of the court at all times, pretty much, right? But there's a lot of players out there that don't have all the shots, and you gotta figure out what they do have, and you gotta know, hey, if this person hits and hits a cut shot, it's easy to defend, right? As soon as they don't hit, I know they're gonna hit a cut shot, I'm gonna go run to the cut shot, right? If, you know, there's things like, if you're a left-sided, if, you know, left-sided and right-side players have different tendencies, but when the set's inside, and the sets outside. Players tend to hit the same shots, you know, over the course of a game, right? Only the best players will mix it up, but most players have muscle memory and when the set's inside, they know what their best shot is and they go to that shot, right? So you gotta know these things. Because here's the thing, the best defenders will, have a, will come up with a strategy quickly in a game. If it takes you two thirds or three fourths of the game to come up with a strategy that, that starts to work defensively, it might be too late already, right? You gotta be able to make that adjustment and, and come to these understandings quickly in the game. And the way you do that, honestly, 
uh, or a way that's going to be helpful in, in having you do that is if you're playing in pool play, you got to watch your opponent's play and you got to take notes. You got to watch and see who's doing what in every game. And then when they warm up, you got to watch them warm up. Typically, players will hit shots in warm up that they will use in the game. They don't practice, if they don't practice a shot in warm up, most likely they're not going to use it in a game. Okay? So, watch how other teams warm up, take notes. And for me, I learned so much from watching my watching uh, players warm up. I know who can hit good deep shots. I can tell you who's going to error and hit in the net a lot, who's going to hit flat. I can tell you who can hit from off the net, who cannot hit from off the net. All these things, you got to be able to recognize these things quickly so that you can come up with a good strategy to help you shrink the court when you're playing defense. So think about these three traits and try to apply them to your game. And if you can, and you improve uh, you know, your eye-hand coordination skills, and you can improve your court speed to any degree, and then you can start to like really start to see players' tendencies quicker, that's all going to make you a better defender.